In this video, we show how to construct the subobject classifier in categories of presheaves. Throughout this video, we assume C is a small category and C hat denotes the category of presheaves on C. Recall that 1, the Yoneda lemma, gives us a natural isomorphism between the C figures in X and C hat morphisms from the representable on C 2X. 2, there is a functor sub from the opposite of C hat to set, which takes objects to the set of subobjects and morphisms F to their pullback. So if R is a subobject of Y, F upper star R is a subobject of X given by the pullback. Three, C op action diagrams are equivalent to C hat morphisms. Again, this is by Yoneda. Four, Pullbacks in C hat are computed component-wise in set. We start with the observation that if the subobject classifier exists in C hat, then for each C object, little c, there is an isomorphism from the C figures in the subobject classifier to subobjects of the representable on C. So we are forced to define omega as sub y op where y op is the Yoneda embedding on the opposite categories, and sub is the functor described in 2 on the right. The generic subobject t of omega is the c hat morphism with components which pick out the identity subobjects for each object c. In other words, t on component c names the representable on c, which is the terminal object in the category sub underline C for each object C. We now prove that T omega is the subobject classifier of C hat. So let R be a subobject of X. Define chi sub R on component C by taking a C figure alpha to the subobject alpha bar of the representable on C, where alpha bar has C prime figures consisting of C morphisms F from C prime to C such that the F boundary of alpha is a C prime figure of R. To show naturality of chi sub R, we want to show the following commutes for each C morphism F. If alpha is a C figure of X, then the high road gives us underline F upper star alpha bar, and the low road gives us bar alpha dot f. C double prime figures of bar alpha dot f by definition are those C morphisms g from C double prime to C prime such that alpha dot f g is a C double prime figure of R. What about the C double prime figures of underline f upper star alpha bar? Since pullbacks are computed component wise in set we have the set of C double prime figures of underline F upper star alpha bar as the pullback in the following diagram. But this means that G is a C double prime figure of underline F upper star alpha bar if and only if F G is a C prime figure of alpha bar. And thus this set consists of those C morphisms G from C double prime to C prime such that alpha dot F G is a C double prime figure of R. Therefore, chi sub R is natural and defines a morphism from X to omega. Finally, to show that the following is a pullback, it is enough to show that for each component C, the following is a pullback in the category of sets. So suppose alpha is a C figure of X, such that alpha bar is equal to the representable presheaf on C then alpha bar C is equal to the endomorphisms in C of object little c, and so contains in particular the identity of little c. Thus, by definition of alpha bar, we have alpha as a C figure of R. Then since pullbacks in set are constructed element-wise, the diagram above is a pullback, completing the proof. Notice that C figures in omega inform F boundary slash process relations each subobject may possess, 
and not just, is it in or is it not in? In other words, there are more than two truth values for figures in omega.